Okay, so uh, today I thought I'd show you how I set up Sony Vegas. Um, in the description, there's going to be two downloads. Uh, it'll take you to, it'll download both of these. Even you're going to get a preset manager uh, that you need to install, and you'll get a bunch of presets or two presets to be precise, uh, which I've made, which um, you will need later, as I will explain. I've got ten minutes to show this, so you know I want to make the most of that and uh, show you the full setup of how I uh, how I use my Vegas. Um, so yeah, once you've downloaded the preset manager, just go ahead and install that. I've already got it, so just you know click yes, yes, yes to all of that. Uh, and once you've installed that, see it's it's yeah whatever it's installed. But um, yeah, basically once you've installed that, you want to and yeah you you'll have this um, YouTube green tint, uh, which you've downloaded also. And you want to double click on that, and it will open up the preset manager for you. Um, now what you're going to do here is you're going to click the little uh, plus box, go to FX Chains, FX Chains, in my word, sorry it's like, late, uh, and just highlight both of those. Now go down to System Presets, and click on Chain FX. You will not have all of these, you probably have an empty box, um, which is just fine, just click on the box, and then just drag those and drop them into there. So you've got them into the System Presets folder, and they're both there. So, uh, what you do now is um, go over to Sony Vegas. I've got my preset one loaded on my dashboard. This is the save thingy that I have. I'll just uh, show you. Um, I've got my. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I have my little border on the top there. Um, and my intro at the beginning. Uh, I use three maybe four tracks usually one for like I don't know that's gonna be for my voice if I do a voiceover that will be for music um, top one is always gonna be for the border because uh, it renders from top to bottom so whatever's on top renders before what's over on the middle and then the bottom so you want the border on top always um, if you don't have a border if you want to know how to make one just I don't know find another tutorial there's hundreds of them on YouTube there's, there's got to be so yeah just go find one of them and you shouldn't have a problem so, uh, so yeah, um, that's my preset, so you of course won't have that, you'll just have uh, a regular one, so when you click new project you will go to here. Now depending on what you're using, you're going to be using, I guess, either a, a HPV or a Dazzle, probably a Dazzle more than anything, so basically once you've uh, got the new project, you're going to click on the little open box, which is right there, and then find um, some sort of a video clip from your Dazzle. Something random, there you go. And click open. Oops. And it will match the project properties to uh, the settings which your Dazzle outputs. You can't get better than what your Dazzle records in, so there's no point setting your, uh, setting your Sony Vegas up to that, up to better than your Dazzle is, if that makes sense. Because you can't render any better than what your Dazzle records in, so you just want to set it to the best that you can get. So once you've done that, don't mess with any of these really. Um, just click start all new projects with these settings click ok and you're done so um, yeah if you're using a dazzle you're going to be recording in um, it, sorry it'll output the files as .vob which uh, means when you make your little folders for them you get a v video.vts folder and in that you won't have all of these unless you tell it that you want to see all of these so it can get annoying, but you don't need to convert them basically. What you want to do is you just, uh, just go over to here to the little drop down menu and you click all files and make sure that's ticked. And then you'll see all of these files pop up inside the folder that you recorded to. Uh, now you want to click the uh, VTS and then you'll have a number and an underscore and another number. It's usually 01 underscore 1 dot VOB and that will be the one that you want to drag into the bottom. Uh, now, as you can see, you will have um, your output box set to the same size as your Dazzle, so whatever your Dazzle records in, sorry, whatever your Capture Card records in, it will be outputted here. That won't render like that unless you tell it to, so that's all fine. Um, but what you want to do is you're going to right click, go to Properties, Maintain Aspect Ratio, and then uh, you don't have to worry about uh, like massive black edges when you try and render in like 1280 by 720 or whatever you want to render as. So you'll notice you've got two little black edges on the uh, sides of your dazzle. What you want to do is you want to um, 
just crop those in a little bit or hold shift and crop them in a bit and keep the top the same but uh, I already have a preset for that so I don't need to bother um, but yeah you want to do that and that just removes the black edges makes your video a little bit nicer and you're pretty much sorted um, let's just get a nice little there you go right now um, YouTube renders sorry YouTube displays your video best if it's got a slight little bit of um, green tint in it actually so yeah remember the preset that uh, we opened earlier you want to click on sorry if we didn't see that you want to click on um, just between like the red star and the um, track motion thingy a little thing called track FX. you want to click on that and it will open up your filter packages you will not have all of these these are all my ones uh, you should have just those two and I recommend using the light green one but you might want to use the dark green one if you want it's really up to you uh, just click OK and there you are, you're sorted. Um, yeah, so that just alters the colour very slightly to, um, actually if I click Ctrl Z, you can just about see that it changes the colour of um, the screen. Uh, but only very slightly and that makes the quality on YouTube a lot better than what it would be otherwise. Um, yeah, and that just helps it a lot whilst um, like it, it picks up on the blue colour channel, I think. So um, yeah, just that helps out a lot, so just do that and you've sorted. Um, one little trick is if you go to options and then preferences, if your ra if your preview is really slow, um, you can change your preview. Uh, I haven't done this for ages because I'm on a new computer. Okay. There you go, RAM preview. Okay. Um, it'll tell you a max there. You probably want it about a quarter of that to be fair. So mine's about right as it is. But if this is like stuttery at um, even like uh, was it even at preview quality, um, and it still is like stuttery. You can up your RAM preview just a little bit, and that will help it a lot. Um, but don't do it too much, otherwise it will well it won't work properly. So just just a tiny little bit, and that'll stop the stuttering. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. What uh, rendering settings, of course. Um, render as and you can render it whatever you want. AVI is probably the very best quality but standard quality is going to be WMV and if it decides to load, there you go, I got my um, HD low size preset to be at best with the audio as CBR and 192 kilobytes per second and the video being of course 1280 by 720 pixel aspect ratio 1 square um, mode to be CBR, format Windows Media Video 9 can't even say it, frame rate 29.9 .9. do not override default compression bumper and video smoothness to be 59 just before um, just before a sharp A, it wants to be 59 right before it and the bit rate you want to change that to 6M and then you are pretty much sorted, uh, just click render and that'll do it for you know, really good HD quality, that's what I've used in all my videos previous to this basically um, one more you can do if you want really high quality like from montage or something you can go to ooh, video for windows, that's .avi which is my YouTube template because YouTube now uploads 2 gig max uh, thingy you can use this quite easily uh, video running quality is to be best video you want it, do you, as long as you've got the XVID codec installed, which most new computers do. If you don't, you can go and download it. Just Google XVID, and you'll come up with a bunch of downloads. Just download the codec for that. Uh, just click on uh, that codec at the bottom. Click configure, and I found that the best is four. So just change that to four, and the top to DVIX HDTV, and then you're pretty much sorted. That is awesome quality for a um, PVR if you've got one. If you don't, doesn't really matter. Just make sure that and uh, yeah, interleave uh, is to be at zero, all zeros, and then that's pretty much sorted. Um, I'll leave you with a um, couple of seconds rendering of the, this little clip. I don't know, maybe six seconds of it, maybe a bit longer, make it a bit longer. But um, yeah, you can check it out, see what you think. But those are my render settings. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.
Let's go. 